We are going to ask to stand to in honor the uh, of the word of God. We are going to hold your Bible. And we are going to the book of First Samuel. Sura yake ya 16 na mstari wa 4 hadi wa 5 and we read for up to 5 Kigereza kitaanza English will start na nitabaliza kwa Kiswahili and I'll finish with Kiswahili Verse Samuel 16 4 to 5 Verse Samuel 16 Verse 4 to 5, the Bible says, And Samuel did that which the Lord spake, and came to the land. And the elders of the town of Ephraim at this coming, and said, Come and do this thing, fight. And he said, Peaceably I am come, to sacrifice unto the Lord, sacrifice yourselves, and come to me to sacrifice and sanctify Jesse and his sons and hold them to sacrifice amen amen amen, amen. samueli akafanya hayo aliyosema bwana akaenda betlehemu wakaja wazee wa mji kumlaki wakitetemeka nao wakasema je umekuja kwa amani naye akasema naam kwa amani nimekuja kumtolea bwana dhabihu jitakaseni Joni pamoja nami kwenye dhabihu akawatakasa Yesu na wanawe akawaita kwenye dhabihu amen tuoza tukaketi amen 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 asubuhi ya leo this morning nimekuja na neno la faraja i have come the way of comfort ya kutia tena moyo to give you the courage neno ambalo linasema the way we say it kuenda kwa amani Going uh, to go with peace. Going with peace. Waliokuwa pamoja nasi tangu siku ya 4. Those who with us sisters they. Tumeenda kuona ya kwamba. We saw that. Amani ya Kristo. The peace of God. Ni lasa iamue katika maisha ya Mkristo. We decide the believer's life. Na unaposhindwa kuamua na amani ya Kristo. And you can decide the peace of God. Hauwezi ukaweza kutembea na amani ya Kristo. You cannot walk with the peace of God. Kama ulimwengu unaharibika leo. The world is getting worse. Kama watu wanasahau shabaha yao kwa dunia hii. Forget the purpose Mengi katika haya watu wanashindwa kutembea ama kuendea kwa amani. People are afraid to go with peace. Amen amen. Amen. Nikisoma kwa mstari wa kwanza ya sura ile ya 16, if you are in verse 1 and 16 of Samuel. Maandiko yananiambia. The scripture tells me. Aseme Bwana Mungu anamwambia Samuel. The Lord tells Samuel. Utamlilia kwa kiwango gani Sauli? For how long will you cry for so? Ama utafunga hema ya kilio kwa muda gani ya kwanza wewe umlilia? The one that have rejected. Mana kwenye wakati. Because in this time. Mungu amekuwa amemkataa Sauli. God rejected so. Na akakuwa amepanga mpango wa mpango wa pili. And he had a second plan. Wa kumtawasa Daudi. To anoint David. Ama kumpaka Daudi mafuta. To anoint David. For mpango wa Mungu wa Mungu. For the divine plan. Hapa Mungu anakuja kumwamsha Samueli. God came to awake Samuel. Kwa kumwambia aende kwa amani. And said to him go with peace. Maana alikuwa amesalia kama amepoteza mtu wa maana. Because he thought maybe he lost someone very important. Lakini Mungu amekuwa ameichangalia chombo. God prepared another person. Na ikampindi Samuel. And he, he Samuel. Aamue kwenda kwa amani. And he decided to go peaceably. Amen amen. amen. Ambia jirani yako je umeenda kwa amani? Did you go with peace? Amen amen. Amen. Watoto wa Mungu walipote mambo ya tukaenda. Children of God wherever we go. Ni muhimu sana kwetu very important to amani kuwa pamoja nasi go with the peace of god maana tukizikiri na amani ya mungu you are surrounded by his peace tutakuwa wale waleta amani you will be peace make peace makers tutakuwa watu wa kukumbuka hata kama hatuko we remember even when we are not there amen 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 maandiko yanasema as bible says asema bwana mungu amemwambia samuel the lord god said unto samuel ya tosha sasa umelie imetosha you are crying it is enough sasa ni kwangu mimi kufanya kazi it is for me to work Amen amen. Amen. 
Kamata ile pembe yako. Take that to your home. Ichase mafuta. Fill it with oil. Na uendene pamoja nami. Go with me. Mimi nimekushukujipatia yule ambaye atakayetaona juu ya Israel. Because I find someone who's going to reign over Israel. Watu wanashindwa kuenda na amani ya Mungu. Who felt good in peace of God. Watu wanashindwa kamata hatua ya kuweka mafuta kwenye taa zao. Who felt to put oil in their lamps. Na wanajifariji kama kweli tuna Bwana. They come for themselves that we have the Lord. Wanajifariji kama tuna amani ya Mungu ndani mwetu. For that they have the peace of the Lord. Amen amen. Amen. Sikia majibu ya Samueli. Listen to the answers of Samuel. Yamenionyesha maisha ya Christo noishi leo. the Christian life for today. Samuel alimjibu Bwana. Samuel answered the Lord. Aseme. Kama kama nikienda. If I go. Na Sauli ambaye umemkata akisikia kama nimeenda kule. So he is dead. Ataniua. He will kill. Unasikia sababu? You see the reason. Watu wengi. Many people. Inapokuwa wakati kusema kama ni hatua twende kwa amani pamoja na Kristo. Time to go peacefully with the Lord. Wana muogopa yule ambaye tayari amekataliwa. They are they are uh, they are afraid of the one who has been rejected. Wanaogopa misoga ambayo haina uhai ndani mwao. They are afraid of cops which have no life. Amen amen. Amen. Maana nikiangalia shetani. If I look at the devil. Alikuwa hapo malaika mkuu kule mbinguni. He was the big angel in heaven. Alikuwa yeye mwenye kuongoza sifa na mautuni. He was leading the praise and the worship. Alikuwa wakati mbingu zilipomkataa. When the heaven they rejected. Sikamtupa huko. And throw him away. Alikuwa tena hana nguvu ambazo ni za kimbingu tena. He did not have heavenly power. Amen amen. Amen. Dio resume inaonesha Samuel hapa. That's what shows Samuel here. Aseme mwenye ulitoa akisikia. The one who will reject it if he hears. He's going to kill him. Inawezekanaje mtu ambaye Mungu ashampupa mbali? How come someone who God has rejected? Awe tena na uwezo juu ya maisha yako. Have the power over your life. Amen amen. Amen. Amen amen. Amen. Utatapo kuendana na amani ya Kristo. When you go with the peace of the Lord. Usiweke masababu ya maisha yako. Don't put the reasons on your life. Muda upo tena. There's no time. Kama hapo awali ya kutembea na amani ya Kristo. Before you didn't go with the peace of the Lord. Leo tembea na amani ya Kristo kama vile kesho utakuwa. The peace of the Lord. Amen amen. Amen. Sisi ni wapitaji. We are passengers. Amen amen. Amen. Nyumbani kwetu si hapa bali ni mbingu. Our home is not here but in heaven. Sasa ukitaka uende na amani ambayo ni ya dunia hii. You want to go the peace of the world. Utachikuta na baki nyuma. You remain behind. Utachikuta na baki nyuma. You remain behind. Lakini napenda maandiko ambayo yamesema. And I love the scripture which says. Hapa kwa mstari wa 4 ambapo tumesoma. Verse 4 where we read. Aseme Samuel akafanya kama vile Mungu alivyomwagiza. Some of the deeds the Lord commanded him. Amen, amen. Amen. Mtu anayeendana na amani ya Mungu. Someone who go with the peace of God. Ni mtu ambaye anaitii maagizo ya Mungu matendo ya Mungu. Someone who obeys the word of God or his command. Amen, amen. Amen. Mungu hawezi akaanza na wewe kitu ambacho atamaliza. God can not start with you what he can't finish. Hata vita viluke namna kadhaa. No matter how the battle rises. Hata adversary wako kuwa ni vokali. Even how strong your adversary is. Nikuja kutangazia. I have come to announce to you. Kama ukiamua tu If you decide, when the Lord of Christ will go with the peace of the Lord, kazi yako Mungu atafanyikisha. God will make your way success. Na wewe utakuwa mshindi. And you will be the victim. Na wewe utakuwa mtu wa kawaida. And you will not be a common person. Mtu ambaye alikuwa ameogopa. Someone who was afraid. Asa nikienda kule kumpaka Daudi mafuta. I go to announce David. Huyu mfalme ambaye amekataliwa. This king who is rejected. If he hears the news. But listen to what happened. The scripture says. That those elders of Bethlehem. They came to receive some. They were trampling. They were trampling. Amen amen. Amen. Mtu anapoamua kuendana na amani ya Kristo, he's not going the peace of God. Anachao na utishi wa mbingu. Is 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 frightening. Anakuja na armia ya mbingu ni kimsukuku. Is the heavenly army surrounding him. Na watu wataulisa je, umekuja kwa amani? And people ask did you want peace? Maana nguvu ambazo tunaona unakuja nazo. Oh, the power that you come with. Sio nguvu za kawaida. Sonje come on. Wasi wa Bethlehem wakati temeka. The elders of Bethlehem were afraid. Mtu ambaye alikuwa anaogopa hapo mbele. Some were not afraid. Ambaye kuna sema kama nitaendaje? You were asking me how will I go? Lakini alipotuchukua tu ya kuheshimu na Mungu. He decided to respect the will of God. Na kutembea kwa amani. Go in peace. Mbingu zilimpatia army ya bosi ya kawaida. The heaven gave him the army. Na ikaupatia sababu. And it gave him a reason. Amen, amen. Amen. Man, as a way, you're going 
Tusabia it was impossible. Because God can change someone and leave them in the office. That's why many people are lying to themselves. You can hold the mic and things are still going. But God has given someone who will work who have been chased a long time ago. Don't confuse yourself because the voice is still going. Decided to go with the peace of the Lord today. Samuel did a good step. And I love him. And I remember the story of Moses. When he was told to go and bring the children of Israel. He started with the reasons, how will I go? I don't know how to speak. Because he accepted to go with peace. Don't go with the peace of the world. It will leave you along the way. The friend says what? Say the crowd lies. The crowd lies. Consider that people surround you. People that have no sense. Friends that have no benefits. They are not showing you the peace of God. They are not showing you the way of the Lord. And you are holding on to those people. They will leave you along the way. Amen. Amen. Before you have any problem, you see that there is a lot of refugees. You see that the assurance is too big. But make a mistake. Even your brother will you, how will you hide in my house? Your problem is you. Understand who can share the problem with you? It's Jesus. Because he is the king of peace. Amen. Amen. Samuel make a step to ask Christians. To imitate. Amen. 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 Because he did according to the word of the Lord. And he didn't tell them that I come with peace. But when he was there, those who came to receive him, the elders of Bethlehem, they started shivering. He said, Did you come in peace? And he said, Yes, in peace. I have come to offer unto the Lord. Amen, amen. Amen. And you, wherever you are, are you going with peace? We are going to destroy the life of other people. Amen, amen. Amen. You are hiding. You are making it a shit. But you are a, 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 a jackal. People like those ones. God will form it. Because God has a land who are cold and warm. If you are only people that are going with peace, stand on that line. Here you are in the war, here you are in peace. You have no place to go. Amen, amen. Amen. Going with peace. It's very important to us. Amen, amen. Amen. Those who are here on Thursday, there are two kinds of peace. And some people forget one which is very important. There is peace that comes from the world. Which people put it in front. They forget to go with the peace of the Lord. The peace of the Lord. The peace The peace in the plan of God. Amen. Amen. It is a way which is straight right in the eyes of God. But the end of that road is, the, is leading to death. I have come to tell you. Don't comfort yourself that you have the peace of the Lord. And you don't want to respect his command. God does not walk with a uh, God does not work with opposition. 
Those who want to wake ready or not ready. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. The Christian with seasons. When God blesses them, it's fine. When customers are too many, they put God in the garage. They sit there first. Even God understands. Go with the peace of God. Go with the peace of God. Oh, say you are fine. The Bible says, don't stop gathering. The scripture says, what will profit you? If they get the world well, especially they lose their own soul. Souls that are going to be lost. It is of those who did not want to go to the peace of the Lord. God is looking for people. Who will stand? Amen, amen. Amen. God is not looking for people that will break hearts. He's looking for people that are brave. Who stand like Samuel. Even when Saul hears, I'm going to offer the sacrifice. I'm not going back. Amen, amen. Amen. Even if your boss is going to talk, the one who gives your boss that you will it is God of heaven. Respect your boss and God. There is a problem. God changes the page every day. Ask those who were rich in the year 2000. Today we are there. Don't go with the peace of their love. They will be the visitors of who? Solomon says what? Say everything is vanity. Amen, amen. amen. He's someone who was very rich. He enjoyed the world. But finally, he understood that everything is vanity. And he gave a chance to those who are looking for Jesus to look for the kingdom. And the rest will be added to them. Amen, amen. Amen. Going in the peace is important as the church. The peace of the Lord is the theme of the year. This is the way that always come back. The peace, the peace of the Lord go with you. If you choose a portion to be at peace with God, you will not be ashamed. You accomplish the mission. Amen. 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 Let us see what, the, what, what job Samuel went to do there. Samuel went to anoint the king, he doesn't know. God can give you a job you don't know the beginning. God can give you a job you have to preach English people and you don't know. But he knows the way. Amen. 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 You can ask why you didn't tell me what to do. Your answer should be here I am and I am. Use me as you please. If you go to Mount Hill, if you go on the cliffs, I know you started this. If you finish with me, you won't leave me. Amen. Amen. He went with the peace of God. He went with the peace of God. The scripture says, purify yourself. Or you cannot work for God and comfort yourself with your sin. Jesus is ready to come. But the from God is seen only. You want to make a, a good service to God. Purify yourself first. 
The family seated down and said, Because the brother in law wants someone to go there, they were asking who will go there. Amen, amen. Amen. 
The family said, The one who is cool and the one who respects God is this brother Joseph. Let, us, let this one go. My elder brother, he was enjoying his old one. Amen. Amen. They say I'm the one who should go to South Africa. And I felt peace inside. But I love God. My brother started singing. He started going to the choir. But they didn't trust him. Because his baby is singing because of this. He's singing because he wants to go to South Africa. But, but let brother Joseph go. And I said, let the brother go. Because me, I don't like to go to South Africa. I'm okay, let my big brother go. And he came. When we receive the testimony, the way is going with the peace of God. God is very faithful. Amen, amen. You don't have to fight. You don't have to fight. Let me, if I was fighting to go to South Africa, all have received me. Amen, amen. Amen. But God prepared the way. Let him go. Let you go follow the second. You know where we are. That's why I've come to tell you. Go with the peace. I have learned one thing. David became a king. But there was a king on the throne. Wait for your time. Don't rush. Go with the peace. God knows that. If I bless him to be rich today, or to walk in a car today, maybe his enemies will kill him. And he said, My peace. Let people walk on him. At the hand, there is a music. You know, the peace of God wants to say something. He's speaking the language people want to And they say, You are going to the devil. We know, we know we saw he's not serious anymore. Before he was praying, but this time it is he's the same God. The peace of God covers me. Amen. Desire to go with the peace of God. Because the peace of the Lord is the peace which keeps our intention. It keeps our heart. Know that all start in the heart. And it is very dangerous to have someone who enclose you things in their house. They can kill you without you know. The scripture says in Proverbs, in your heart very much, that everything you keep. Because the beginning of the living world. In the heart comes life. And from the heart comes death. I better live with people whom I know that they don't love They love me or not. But everyone can be Because I want to know who is my enemy. You, you, you don't have to cry to be there. Don't desire to live the peaceful way. The peace of God. The peace that is sufficient in our life. The peace. If you have it, even the kingdom of darkness is shaken. Amen. 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 I see people have the peace of the world. I tell you that the peace of the world is lying to you. You can see someone failing to make themselves well. They can be humble today. Because when you are alive, you can add or correct your own life. Amen. Amen. You can leave the peace of the world. And you go with the peace of the world. And when you find the people you are beating your chest, I change cars like suits. Even if you change cars, they will come a day. 
And we will not take you in that very big one. We will take you in the Mondogoro, the tired one. Because you will be smelling all around. Amen, amen. Amen. But someone with the peace of the Lord, he cannot suffer. And if he suffers, the peace of the Lord will decide. Amen, amen. Amen. Desire to go with the peace. I want to conclude by saying in the book of Mark, chapter, uh, in the book of Mark, chapter 5, 25. You go down. The scripture tells me the story of this woman who was blind for 12 years. He was looking for the peace for the she finished the whole a man but it was not possible. Amen, amen. Amen. But when she decided he did to look for the peace of God, he went behind. Amen, amen. Amen. She went from behind. What to know end of the money of Christ? People that go with the peace of God. What to want to Syria to end up They know how to go behind. Amen, amen. Amen. You can know something. There are people who say, I know, I know. What do you think of men? Let them go in. They don't know the secret of going in. If she could go in the front, they would be the people who say, don't come close to me. But she knew the secret of going down. She went crawling down and accomplished the mission. But you, if you touch millions and you comfort yourself, Amen. When you sit in front, when you say that you can, if you want to be successful, go and 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 to see that the front chair. They will make they will tell you to stand up. And tell you, brother, please. There is a special guest. Can you go uh, that big seat? Imagine that chair. But those who know how to go with peace. They are like these women who are bleeding. They know. Let me go at the bed. Because my blessing is being. I will not reach my blessing. Amen. This woman, she went slowly. And I broke in the behind. She touched the law. She said, What happened? The master of the work heard. He said, The power left me. That's the disciple. Who touched you? He said, We are many here. How can you ask who touched you? Amen, amen. Amen. But the master insisted. Something happened. When somebody touched the hem of the head, a fountain of blood broke. And when it was broken, it is the, did it stop, did it stop the fear. Amen, amen. Amen. He the but fear was in the life. And the scripture says in John 14, I give you my peace. The way I give you my peace. Not the way the world gives. Therefore, don't be afraid anymore. If you receive a miracle, that doesn't mean the fear will leave. That doesn't mean the peace will come. 
miracle. When the master Jesus, I have to tell her something. When she said I'm the one who touched you, and say, my lady, the faith has made you well. Now go with peace. The one who gave the peace is not people. The miracle can give you, but the peace comes from Jesus alone. Amen. Amen. Your money can give you peace. I surprise men who say, I marry so that I can get peace. If women don't have peace, if you need peace, tell Jesus the road to give you the peace. The peace is the road. If you, have a, you want the peace from your wife, it will be a day that you bought her a new clothes. The day you bought her a super watch. Then say, my husband, you, you are like the president of South Africa. You, father, I don't know how I got you. Amen, amen. It's not bad. But don't expect for the peace of Christ from your hands. He can give you the peace of this world. But it comes for your life, for your life, for your time. But look for the peace of the Lord. And God bless you. Amen. Celebrate Jesus.